<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday, and I feel like I did this last week too, but my, my camera angle is not good, so I'm going to move it just a little bit. It's like angled up too high. Sorry, my hand's getting in there too, so I don't know. Did that help at all? Um, this doesn't look like it did, but okay, we'll try that. There we go. Okay, so we'll give everybody a couple minutes to pop on. I'll um, give you the update what's been going on around here. Um, basketball. Kate has been, my son Kate has been playing basketball. He's on the varsity basketball team, hey Nikki, this year, and he's already had two injuries in the first two games that have basically kept him out of most of all of the now three games that they played and then tonight they go like long like almost two hours away um hey Susie um <clears throat> so we'll see he probably won't play much at all tonight he hurt he fell in the second game and like fell back on his wrist so like full body weight kind of like came down like on his hand and his wrist it is super sunny I could like see this glare already hey Linda how are you doing thank you for joining us um, so yeah, anyway, so basically it was of course his right hand wrist, so that's what he shoots with because he's right handed. So he's not been able to, you know, make that motion, you know, I don't know how, however you do that. Anyway, so um, we're still gonna, we're gonna go, actually they um, asked parents to drive the kids because the girls play first and they have to leave super early since it's so far away. So parents are gonna take the kids um, so that they don't have to go quite as early. Um, so yeah, so we're going on a road trip anyway to hopefully watch a fun uh, basketball game. Hey Sandy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping so that he's got a couple weeks off. So um, he's been practicing, but I don't think like dribbling and shooting. I don't know. What else can you do? <laughs> you can run around and practice, I guess. So anyway, hopefully he can just rest it. He's got practice like every day over break, I think. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but let's see. Sorry, I got a, a text. I'm like, okay, swipe away. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So they're off for a couple weeks. So um, hopefully he can relax and and rest, basically. And thank you, Linda. I know. I, I you guys probably are like, oh my gosh, she can't stop talking about this. But it is so fun, and I am loving every minute of it and trying to soak it all up and hoping that he heals quickly so we can get back out of the basketball court and I can watch him play. Although I will tell you the first two games that they played, they lost. So that was kind of a bummer. And then on Tuesday night, they won big time. And it was just so fun. Well, for us, I, I felt really bad for the other team. I always like hate to even like look over, you know, at their bench because they were not happy. But our kids finally had some fun. They had just, they had a, they played a great game. Everybody played really well team, good team ball lots of you know passing the ball nobody was being a ball hog everybody was sharing um, and some great shooting so it, it was really fun to watch them as a team so hey Kay how are you doing I'm glad you can join us from North Carolina I'm sure it's warmer where you are although we've had sun for like three days in a row which is kind of unheard of in Michigan in the winter so I'm not complaining about uh, the sun for sure although I have a feeling I'll be like dragging the table around um, you know with that low sun in December it comes in at a funny angle so yeah um, so what else uh, welcome anybody new joining us for Facebook Live. If you haven't joined us before, thank you so much for joining us um, either on the live, watching later, or on YouTube, however you find us. I'd love to have you come hang out with me every Friday. I always say most every Friday um, <clears throat> at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, you, all right, you guys aren't too much warmer down there. We're, I don't know, I don't even know today. It's 20s or 30s, but so, okay. You guys are kind of cold down there too then. Um, so let's see. Oh, quick reminder, if you guys haven't heard already, the clearance rack was updated earlier this week. There are so many fun, okay, I made a list. Well, not really a list, but there are tons of like dyes, like the, um, we have to call them dyes now, but um, the framelits and thinlets, all that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of those on there. And then embossing folders, tons of great embellishments and ribbon. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any, Designer Series paper was on there too. So, so much good stuff. So anything that's retired, that's what's on the clearance rack. And then don't forget, we have the year-end closeout sale from the holiday catalog also. So great time to still take a little peek. Um, 
Or maybe next week you get gifted with a little bit of holiday cash that will burn a hole in your pocket if you don't spend it. So hop online and take advantage of the clearance rack update. Although I would do that sooner than later because those things sell out pretty quickly. So take a peek and then yeah, you can take advantage. If there's anything else you need from that holiday catalog, make sure you get it. You just have a few days left at this point. Um, basically, I think January 2nd is the last final, final, final day that you can order. Um, out of the holiday catalog. And then also, just so you guys know, this is like a thing I'm doing personally, because um, this tends to be a little bit of a slower time um, for me. So I am personally offering 20% off of any order. So you can't go online and get 20% off though, because people kind of been asking about that. You have to email me your order. So you email the order to amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. Um, and just send me you know, what you want to order and then we'll get an order for you and I'll give you the 20% off and let you know what you owe on that. So if anybody has any questions, just email me or send me um, a message here on Facebook, okay? Um, so yeah, I'd love for you to take advantage. 20% off of product, basically. So anything you want, basically, I'm giving you my demonstrator discount uh, from now until Christmas Day. And if you send me an email on Christmas Day, I probably won't be responding, but I will honor it. So if you email me that day, I will take care of it the next day on the 26th. So just so you know on that one. Um, let's see, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, okay, so quick reminder. <clears throat> Today is the last day to get that Wish For It All class to go. You get two of each of these fun cards. The Wish For It All uh, stamp set, the dies, I think they're called the Doily Wishes dies. You get a full bolt of the Granny Apple Green ribbon. You get a full bolt of the Purple Tricolor ribbon. And then we use the Noble Peacock Rhinestones all over those cards to get a package of those as well. If you ha already have um, any of those products, you can substitute. Um, for other uh, products with um, the same product value. So just so you know that, um, like somebody already had the Granny Apple Green Ribbon, so I'm like, yeah, get something else. Why get another bolt of that if you don't want that? So that's not a big deal. We can do that for sure. I just want to make sure you have what you need to make these cards too. So the link is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com or email me. Um, actually, the not the link, because I can't put links on my blog, but details for the class to go are on my blog but you can email me for the PayPal link um, to actually order order those to-go kits. Okay, but today is the last day, so make sure you do that if you are interested. The stamp set is super cute. I loved those cards, and it was fun too. Fun, bright colors, not Christmassy at all. You know, it's fun to do Christmas, but then it's fun to do some other stuff too, so. Um, oh, okay, so thank you guys. I got some fun uh, Christmas cards, and thank you so much. I have had so much fun receiving these cards. So let's see, which one? I will start, I think I saw Miss Linda is on here. So this is a beautiful card that Linda Danis made and sent to me, and I love that reindeer. That was such a pretty, this was a stamp set um, from last year, so it's not in our holiday catalog. It might be called Dashing, Dashing Deer? I don't even remember the exact name of it, but it's in our annual catalog. So actually this stamp set will still be available through, um, well, through the end of May, basically. So, but isn't that, thank you so much, Linda. I loved this card. That was very sweet of you to think of me and send that. So thank you, thank you. And then what else? Ooh, I have a, this is a beautiful card too to share with you. This is from, let me make sure, because I have a couple of them, yep. Felicia Lekowski. So thank you, Felicia. Look, at, isn't this beautiful? So she used that fun um, scrolly embossing folder. And then I was looking, I'm um, that gold star paper, uh, it's just gorgeous. I love the paper. And then this has got to be some of that delicata, the gold delicata ink. I didn't even get any of those inks and then they sold out so quickly. So I never even, I didn't get any of them, but I love, that's a beautiful, beautiful ink. <laughs> yes, Linda, I know, love that deer. It's one of those, it was so popular, I think last year when it came out and then I kind of forgot about it. So thank you for reminding me about it too. So just a beautiful black and white and gold card on here too from Miss Felicia. So thank you, Felicia, for that. And then she actually sent me, this is so cool. It's a calendar. Can I show you guys? It's one of these fun, so these tear off. So once January is done, you can peel that one off and move on to February. But isn't that so pretty? I haven't seen it. Um, I've seen, I actually made a bunch of the tall ones. I'm gonna show you guys those maybe next week. Um, 
using some of our new celebration products, but this is kind of a wide, a shorter, wide one. Um, but I love that, so it'll sit right on your desk. Isn't that so cool? I'm gonna take it down to the stamp studio. So thank you, Felicia, because I always need like just a little calendar like that um, down at the studio for me to reference when you know we're talking about dates and things. So this is perfect, so thank you. Thank you so much, and I love, right? This is one of my favorite embellishments, those little whatever, whatever those are even called, I can't even say, um, but I love the, um, the daisy too so very very pretty so thank you miss felicia and then sharon one of my downline sent me well she actually gave it to me because we had our group meeting at our shoebox swap which i'll show you those cards in just a sec um <clears throat> it was i picked a bad day not very many people were able to come i know it's funny, I should try to do it earlier in December, um, but it's there's just always so much going on. And I think the later you get into December, people are even like crazier with trying to get stuff done. So anyway, but Sharon gave me this beautiful, I love the blues and the greens, the plaid, right? And then I love that ribbon as well. So this was from Sharon Greening. So thank you, Sharon. And Sharon actually sent, okay, this is like full, she brought this to me, not sent, right? You can't really tell. I haven't even opened it yet, Sharon, because this is kind of like the snack that once you open it, you cannot stop eating it. So Lily and I both love this, but we have um, not opened it yet. I had, she brought, Sharon brought it to share with us um, on Tuesday or Wednesday night for our shoebox swap. So I had some there and I was like, okay, if I open this, we're gonna be in big trouble. So anyway, thank you, Sharon. It's like this beautiful, love that little stripey um, with the red and green and the polka dot. That's cute package too, right? So thank you guys, thank you so much. I've been um, really enjoying um, all your little treats. So thank you, treats and cards. So thank you guys so much. Yes, oh Susie, grandson's band concert. I know, that's what I mean. There's so much going on. Um, and I, I moved the date too, because my son Cade had played basketball on Tuesday night, so we moved it to Wednesday night. Um, and then he didn't even really Play very much because he had that injury so anyway it was still such a fun I'm really glad I went to that game because that was the one that they they had a win and, and everyone you know it was just a good night to be there and, and good night for the kids so um, okay let's see what else do I want to tell you guys about this glare it's great but it's like messing with my eyes um, okay let's do our drawing for the star designer elements I wonder if I have to all right Hold on, this might be weird. Usually I pull the table. I don't know, we'll see, because that glare is really bad. All right, hold on, we're moving it right now. Let's see if I can get out of the glare a little bit there. Hopefully it's not too dark. I think that's a little bit better. Now maybe I'll be closer. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're gonna draw for these, the star designer elements. Um, if you signed up for my email list or if you shared the Facebook Live video, your name is in the basket here. So I'm gonna shake these all around. We'll pull a name out and I will get you your beautiful, these are like a copper, right? Copper star, star designer elements. And okay, one in my hand and a, ha <laughs> ha, Linda, Miss Linda, who is watching, you cannot even see, there we go. This glare, I'm not gonna be able to avoid it today, but Miss Linda, congratulations. You are the big winner today of the Star Designer Elements. And hey, Debbie, thank you for joining us and thank you for the share too. So your name was in there, right? Um, from this week and it will be in there next week also for sharing today's video. So share it, share the video anytime now through next Thursday night and your name will go in the drawing to win. Let me see, where did I, oh, here they are. So I have a package of, these are the new sequins. Oh my goodness, where can I put this? Maybe if I stand over here, you guys don't care if I have a glare, right? Um, so, ugh, yuck. Okay, so there, if I do that. So these are the fun new sequins from the Celebration brochure because I used a bunch of, it's like a combo pack and I used the metallic baker's wine. I used all of that and I still had the sequins left. So let me see if they tell me, yep. Um, Oh gosh, 750 sequins in three colors 
and two sizes. So the colors are Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, and So Saffron. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, but I can show you these fun sequins. So you're gonna have a great time, right? Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, and So Saffron. So some really pretty colors. So uh, share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name of all the drawing to win those fun sequins next week, okay? Um, yeah, I'm going to do Facebook Live next Friday. Yay. I was one of those, like, am I going to do it or not? And I've been struggling, too. I was even asking at the um, at our meeting this week, like, what should I show you guys? Um, and I just can't do any more holiday catalog stuff. I don't know how you guys are feeling. Uh, but there's, I've gotten so much new, like the new spring mini and celebration stuff. So I'm going to be showing you guys some new stuff today um, and next week probably too. So anyway, just so you guys know, it'll be teasers for when you can actually order this stuff starting on January 3rd. So you guys all know this, right? Celebration and the new spring mini catalog go live to customers on January 3rd. If you, oh, Sharon's going to get big me. Okay. Big, big me. Did I say that? Big B, big B coffee. All right. Bring me back one too. Have fun. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, and you're welcome, Linda, doing the happy dance. That's cute. Um, okay. Totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. Celebration. Yeah. So if you cannot wait to get some of this new product, I'm sure you guys have been seeing it shared like you know, on YouTube and on Facebook and on people's blogs. So you can get the starter kit right now and you can actually order a product from the new spring mini catalog in your starter kit. Plus, then you become a demonstrator, so you get the perk of being a demonstrator and ordering, pre-ordering out of the new mini catalog and getting celebration rewards right now too. So something to think about if you're like, just can't wait, because the starter kit deal is great, so if you can wait, great, but if you can't, or you can order stuff, like I said, right out of this um, spring mini catalog right now in your starter kit and then you can put your first order in like a hot minute later usually because um, it's super fast to get signed up right then you can get um, free celebration stuff when you put orders in so ah yes actually that's awesome Louise I didn't think about that because usually you watch later um, so yeah awesome that you can um, that you've got time off for Christmas and thank you Merry Christmas to you too and hey Zara how are you doing um, hope everything's good with you uh, so let's see oh yeah so because I didn't have all the details, I knew uh, Sharon helped me out last week. Starter kit. If you want to wait until January 3rd to get the starter kit, you get to pick $125 in product. You pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping, and you get a sampler pack, uh, six by six pieces of all, all of the designer series paper in the new spring mini catalog, right? You also get that cute little baby trimmer, which I have ordered. So maybe, I don't know if the holidays, hopefully I have it for next week to show you guys. Um, if not, I'm sure maybe you've seen that online too, but it's a, it's a guillotine one. So it's kind of a thing. I always have to make that noise, right? Um, but the best part about those is they self sharpen. So every time you cut with it, the blades like, you know, sharpen against each other. So you never have to replace the blade either. So this teeny tiny little it's like a little baby guy fit in your purse right so you get that and then you also get to pick any stamps that you want out of the new spring mini or out of the um, annual catalog so find the most expensive stamp set that you might not order for yourself and get that one um, free with your starter kit so um, let me make sure because I think that's it. Yeah, paper cutter, designer series paper, and your free stamp set. The only thing to know is you can't get host sets or celebration stamp sets as your free set. But why would you want to do that? Because you're going to put your own order in after you get the starter kit and you can get host sets free with your host dollars. Or every time you put a, at least a $50 order in between now and March 31st, you are going to um, get a free celebration item. So don't waste, you know, don't worry about those, not being able to get those free get like the whopper big like super expensive stamp set um, so hey Rosemary how are you I'm glad you could join us and thanks for the share Louise um, okay so let me know if you have any questions on the starter kit I would love to welcome you in as an inspired stamper we have an awesome group of ladies we have a separate Facebook group um, that we do other posting and sharing on that's just exclusive for um, my team, for my Inspired Stampers. We also um, do a Facebook Live meeting each month. It's always the third Tuesday. Well, usually it's the third Tuesday of the month. Um, what else? There's, we have like just so much good, fun sharing. Um, 
Yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Lots and lots of good reasons to be a part of our group. So um, great ladies that are a part of our group, right? Um, okay, so let's see. I think now we actually don't even have to do a drawing because I, I had one online order last week. So that's why this was so fun because Miss Linda Danis, thank you so much. You were my one online order last week. So she so there's no drawing right she automatically receives the awesome cheers to that stamp set she also gets the projects that i demonstrated on last week's facebook live these two little cutie patooties that glare is gonna drive me nuts there we go moving them over there she gets those projects and because she ordered over $50, she also gets a package of the designer elements. These beautiful, they're like little kind of metallic buttons. They are gorgeous. So, hey, Becky, thank you for the share, too. I'm glad you can join us. So, yeah, Miss Linda gets the whole, and then she, her name was drawn. That's why I was like, oh, my gosh, because then she um, got the star designer elements, too. So, Linda, you're going to have an awesome gift package coming your way as a thank you for your order. So, yeah, so this week, if you order online through me uh, and spend, all you have to do is spend $30, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes, and your name is going to go in the drawing to get the new celebration, the lovely lily pad stamp set. Can you guys even see that? What if I, I guess it's better over there, isn't it, right? So the cool thing is they call this, um, does it say on here? Maybe it doesn't. It's like what are we calling reversible reversible stamps because so one side stamps the detail for the lily and then the other side kind of does that watercolor wash and it's the same with all of them so it's actually only an eight piece stamp set right so there's one two three four five six seven and eight so they all have a back side that does kind of a cool uh, watercolor wash on them so put your order in i'm going to give you the um, host code that's also always at my blog at gatheringinspiration.com make sure you use the host code and your name will go in the drawing to win the lovely lily stamp set next week lily 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 i love that it's all about lilies because my daughter's name is lily um yeah so that's kind of fun to say right um okay uh, da, 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 da. What else do I want to tell you guys about? Okay, I think we're actually pretty good. So I want to show you guys, if you haven't seen, we have so much awesome designer series paper in the new, actually in both of them, in the new spring mini and in the um, celebration catalog. So I want to show you guys all of that paper because I'm doing a paper share. So you can get a quarter of a pack of each of the papers I'm going to show you. I'm throwing in both of the celebration paper packs. You get a quarter a pack of that, which generally a quarter of a pack when it's 12 by 12 paper means you get one six by 12 piece of each of the papers in the pack. If it's six by six, then you're gonna get six by six paper. But most all of it actually this time is uh, 12 by 12, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys that paper. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show you that paper. Actually, let me show you these two. These were swaps. Yeah, this is good, right? Um, before I flip that down. <laughs> yes, I know, Nikki, you've already ordered yours and I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to be able to order all of this. I originally, like when I first put uh, my information together for the paper share, I forgot that they limit us on how much that we can order. So I was thinking I could just put demonstrator orders in right now and like be getting people's paper shares like right now in December, but they really limit like how much we can order of the consumable stuff like designer series paper. So um, yeah, I thought I was gonna be able to get that out sooner. Um, but yeah, I will get it to you as soon as I can. Cause as I'm looking, I'm like, I think I do have, I could probably get yours out, Miss Nikki. So if anybody else orders, um, if not, I'll be able to order everything on January 3rd. Sorry, I know I get a little wishy-washy sometimes cause I really thought I was gonna be able to order sooner and get stuff out to you guys sooner. Um, but definitely a huge order is gonna go in on January 3rd and then I'll get that sent out to you as soon as it comes in. So if not, um, bef you know, before then, so, okay. So, um, I have to show you guys these. We just had a couple of shoebox swaps 
at our um, party the other night and this was one of them and I have to show you because it features that beautiful thanks Nikki I know you're very gracious um, it features the beautiful lovely Lily stamp set right so we actually just stamped that baby right on there and then um, a couple like the little lily pad and a leaf um, in old olive on old olive cardstock plus this is beautiful now I'm drawing a blank at the name of that paper right now because it's in the annual catalog but I love that you can use any of our floral paper with that stamp set I think it works really well and then this was um, a sentiment says I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness and that is from one of our um, celebration stamp sets let me make sure I think yep it's from the thoughtful blooms stamp set yeah I'll show you this awesome stamp set the thoughtful blooms I'm going to actually show you guys a project it was my shoebox swap the other night I'm going to show you guys um, but this is the thoughtful blooms this is one of the celebration stamp sets that you can get free with a $50 order and then that is the sentiment right there that we used on that card right there okay um let me show you so here's another one and this one uses some of the peaceful poppies designer series paper and i think that's the peaceful poppies stamp set it's funny because i went to order that um let me make sure the peaceful poppies stamp set um it's been a little bit ago and it was like it was kind of on back order for I think it was like a hot minute because it's not any longer um, where is the poppy stuff here we go yeah what is it called let me make sure yes it is so it's painted poppies so here we go this stamp is from the painted poppy stamp set and then this is part of the peaceful poppies designer series paper that I'm going to show you guys in just a sec so this was a beautiful card actually I should mention Sharon Greening designed this one and Ms. Sunday Ostrander designed this one so beautiful cards right we the kind of the idea was to play with some of the new stuff um, you know and everybody kind of orders different things too so that was fun we got to play with um, some different new products that maybe we hadn't played with yet right okay so I got to do a quick double check, make sure, but I think we are good. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let me show you. I got to move. Oh, you know, the only other thing I want to tell you guys about, because I have been, um, what is all that? Yeah. Um, wanting these and I was really excited so the die cutting and embossing machine accessories they came out with cutting plates we've not been able to order cutting plates for a while and mine are like cracked and like you know etched into so much and just a mess right so you can order new cutting plates the item code is 150815 and they're $11 and you get a two pack of them um, and then also the 3d embossing folder plate you guys have this mine's a little bit dirty maybe seen me using this one right <laughs> sorry i'm getting like all the glare on there too so the blue the blue embossing folder plate that is item code 149658 because those aren't in the catalog so 3d embossing folder plate is going to be in our new spring mini catalog i'm pretty sure i saw it in there um, that one is ten dollars too so 149658 is the 3d blue embossing folder plate and if you just need new cutting pads um, for your die cutting machine it's 150815 you get two of them for eleven dollars okay all right just had to make sure everybody knew about that too okay so let's scoot some stuff out of the way lots of stuff actually all right I keep looking thinking I didn't tell you guys about something, but I think we're good. So, okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We are gonna turn the camera down and I'm gonna show you some more fun stuff, okay? So bear with me just a sec here. Sorry, I'm kind of fidgeting with things a little bit. Make sure we're good. I do and look at all that glare man I'm looking around like where can I it's like I have to <laughs> oh my goodness I think I had are we getting there how does that look okay I think that's it I think that's where we want to be 
kind of flip it a little bit there. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, let me give you this host code to put your order in. The 3HQ4GTQE, that's the host code you're gonna to wanna to use to get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes and your name in the drawing to win that new lovely lily pad stamp set. So, okay, I just have to show you guys all of this paper if you have not seen it yet. And mine is already kind of pulled apart, honestly, because I've been playing with so much of it, but this is, and I did not bring my packages over, so I'm not even gonna attempt to tell you the names of them. Whatever, this is, this is the um, Valentine paper. But I think, you know, it's, so it's pretty, like lots of hearts and pinks and um, reds, right? But I think you could do some other fun stuff with it. I'm gonna try to flip it over. Actually, I will tell you, like this is six by 12 right here. So if you do the paper share, um, I didn't cut this one in half because this was a brand new sheet out of a new pack, but you get the idea, right? So you'd get six sheets of six by 12 in all of these patterns, right? And then this one I would cut in half also. But look at, can you guys see there's like a, Kind of a shimmeriness to it. it's like a foil so it is a specialty paper all right so then here is the back side of all of those my hearts are upside down and then the back side of that one too right okay so you would get all of those right in the paper share and i'm going to just start tossing stuff back here so and i think this one is called birthday bonanza and it is so cute so check this out look at these guys aren't these fun Huh, I love the lions. They're just so cute, right? Okay, so that's one side of each of them, right? And am I going to be able to do this? I'm going to flip and then, ooh, and the little ice cream cones. Isn't that so cute? So then you've got some, maybe not a little bit more neutral patterns, right? Not quite so, um, you know, with the little koala bear and so on, but super cute. I love that paper too, right? So you get one sheet, six by 12 of each of that pack. And it's only $26 too, guys, um, to get a quarter of a pack of each of the papers. Now this one, I think it's called the tro Tropical. I don't know, I pulled them out of the packages so I don't even have the packages here, but you guys are gonna get the idea, right? Like, how about this? Okay, this is like Hawaii on paper right here, I think. Woo, isn't it beautiful? There's that really pretty hibiscus, right? So we got some fun, um, botanical kind of tropical and then again this one's a little bit more like some of these would be great like for masculine cards even like that kind of um it's a little bit of a i don't know what the pattern what you're going to call it um but beautiful right so a little bit more muted on that side right so again a quarter of a pack of all of these papers then we have the clubhouse maybe so this is for the golfer in your life Okay, those are, I think I showed you guys this now that I'm thinking about it, because we got this at um, on stage. That's upside down too, I can tell, because the golf, golf ball on the tee. There we go. Okay, so my dad's not super preppy, but he is like, <laughs> he loves his golf cart. He loves his golf clubs. He loves every, everything about golf, basically. <laughs> so we're going to be making some fun projects with this paper and sweet for my dad for his birthday which is on January 10th so that'll be coming up right before we know it right and then some more cool plaids there too kind of almost looks like um our plaid paper from the holiday catalog right and actually this is upside down too because those are golf bags I can see that little bag with the club sticking up out of it these are pins too those are upside down also, so we'll flip that one around. There we go, now you can see the golf pins on the green, right? And then this is cool too, right? So check that out, you can have some fun. You can cut that out, probably four by fours. You can cut, mm, no, maybe not. It's not quite four, because that'd be maybe three, three by four, it's looking like. So very cool, huh? Okay, so a quarter pack of that, I don't know, golf club, country club paper. This is some of the, I think it's Honey Bee, the Celebration paper. So you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of this paper also. So check that out. Oh, and just so you guys know, there's info on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com about the paper share. If you are interested, email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com to get the um, 
PayPal link to actually order the paper share, okay? Because that was a big thing. I've been working with the compliance department um, with Stampin' Up! because I had been maybe doing some things I didn't realize I'd been doing some things wrong. So, And I knew like you can't um, have links to order anything right on your blog, so I did know that. So I know it's a little futzy having to like email me for the link, but that is why it's like a rule with Stampin' Up! You cannot have PayPal links on your blog, okay? So, but anyway, this is cool. Hey, Nancy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Oh, thank you, Nikki, Tropical Oasis. Yeah, you are my handy dandy reference gal. Thank you so much. I appreciate that because I am probably going to slaughter most of the names of these things because I have not um, learned them yet. So, but this, like I said, was the, I don't know, B, beautiful B, <laughs> something. Anyway, the B paper in Occasions Catalog. So you can get this free actually with your $50 order starting on January 3rd and then some more honeybee maybe I don't know and then black and white so you can see there were so black and white on one side and then I don't know if I pointed this out to you but these all have some gold foil accents you can kind of see it in the light right so very cool huh okay oh I love opening this paper up and seeing all these things okay so now you really have to bear with me because some of these paper packs I have already cut into so much I don't even have like a full uh six by twelve sheet of like that one right there. Okay, so this is the Parisian paper, right? So here we go. So this one should be six by 12, but that's all I have left right now, okay? So that's one side of the Parisian paper, right? And then we'll flip this over. So really pretty kind of um, muted tones in Pool Party. This is Cherry Cobbler and Petal Pink. So can you see? Beautiful, huh? Okay, all right, again, a quarter of a pack of that paper, and then Here's another pack of celebration paper. This one might be the lily, lily paper also. Something like that, right? Look at, isn't that gorgeous? And then again, I've used so much, I only have, these look similar. So you see those all look pretty similar, right? But they are different, okay? So you can kind of see the different um, shades or tones of flowers there, right? I and mean, those are really big, okay? But beautiful, huh? Right? Okay, so you can get a quarter of a pack of this paper. I am going to hunt Golden Honey. Thank you. That sounds like a good name for it too, Golden Honey. That really explains it well. Thanks, Louise. <laughs> you guys are such good helpers. Okay, here's the other side of that um, celebration lily paper, whatever it's called. Free with a $50 order, or you can get a sampler pack of it from me in the designer series paper share or if you get the starter kit you get a six by 12 piece of all of these papers i don't think you get the celebration paper but all of the paper in the um spring mini catalog so it used to be called the occasions catalog and now it's called the spring mini catalog so just so you know that right so here this is the poppy paper and again this one i don't have a full 12 by 12 sheet of it because it has been my absolute favorite because i love the back side of that paper too. Isn't that beautiful? I went to make a card and I actually started to use this side and then I ended up, okay, hopefully I didn't lose you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to coordinate with him about the basketball game tonight. So dad, I'll have to call you back later. Nobody in my family remembers that I do these Facebook lives every Friday at 11.30. Well, Lily, Lily does, she, <laughs> but nobody else does. My sister doesn't, my dad doesn't. <laughs> Cade, maybe he does, I don't know. So anyway, here is the other side of that paper okay so this is the poppy paper whatever you know you get the idea okay so 26 dollars gets you a quarter of a pack of each of these if you buy the starter kit you get a sampler six by six of each of those papers in the starter kit starting on january 3rd um i think that was all i want to tell you guys about oh except actually i forgot let's see i'm gonna pull i'm gonna leave one in there so i can slip it back in but i forgot to show you guys this is the one pack of paper this is the best dressed, and it's six by six paper, but look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? These beautiful, I love these flowers. Let's see, am I gonna be able to get it? I'm not even showing you all of them, but can you kind of get the idea? There, okay. Lily Impressions Designer Series Paper. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for the names of these things. Okay, so there's one. So here, this is 
because this is kind of what that best dress suite looks like. It's like lipstick and high heeled shoes and pretty handbags and things. Um, I feel like the other side has more of those. I love this floral though. I think these florals are gorgeous, aren't they? Just beautiful, springy. Okay, I'm gonna kind of try to flip these over. Ooh, I like the stripes there too. The blues and greens are my thing also. Okay, so there, now we can see. Yeah, there, look at the high heel shoes. Ooh, and this is fun with all the little um, perfume bottles, right? Uh, lipsticks right here. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of keep it in order, but I'm just making a huge mess of it, aren't I? I love those stripes though too. So beautiful, okay? So you would get that as well, six by six pieces. One of each of those too for $26. Let me know if you want the um, link to order that, okay? All right, so let me make sure, but I think we are ready to do our uh, stamping. And I forgot, did I bring? I need grid paper. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Got my grid paper, I've got my host code. All right, so we're all good there. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna scoot that up a little bit more. So, oops, you guys can't see that then, can you? I'm trying to see where my, <laughs> I, I can see it, but you guys can't see it. There we go. Sorry, I'm being, it's a futzy day, right? Okay, so there, you can kind of see that host code. Maybe I'll do that there. All right, and then here's our grid paper. That's how we're gonna do that, right? Okay, so you guys, um, quick thing to tell you about too. If you haven't signed up, if you're local to me, uh, you can come to the Celebration and Spring Mini Catalog kickoff event that we are holding at the Stamp Studio. It is on Saturday, December, I think it's the 28th. Let me check my notes. Where does it say there? Somewhere. Yep, Saturday, December 28th. It's anytime from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's if you're local and want to come hang out with me and make some cute projects using new product from the catalogs from the new spring mini and celebration catalogs. Okay, so as, <laughs> yeah, yes, Louise says, wow, love the colors, cannot wait for spring. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, I think you're talking about that best dress paper. It's, I think it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that too. That's the problem is there are so many good ones to play with and then you run out of time to play with them all. So I'm gonna do my darndest to uh, be able to do that. So, okay. This is the card that I designed for our uh, shoebox swap. So that we have to keep them kind of simple, although you guys know me, I'm a simple stamper anyway. Um, but we did like the die cutting, um, we did that ahead of time so that it kind of helped move things along a little bit. So, okay, so I wanna show you guys. So this, I use, this is Pretty Peacock, the card base, and then I used uh, Gorgeous Grape, which was kind of a fun color combination. I It was inspired by the colors that are in the new, um, um, uh, Lily designer series paper that you guys just told me the name of and I've already blanked out. But it, that's kind of where I came up with the colors. Um, the combination is not something I would have probably come up with normally. And I tried it with Granny Apple Green, but I like the Pretty Peacock better. So thank you guys. I'm glad you are enjoying that card. So it features this new, uh, the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. This is one that you can get free with your $50 order. You can see it's a celebration stamp set. So you can see it a little bit better now maybe. So I used the thank you sentiment and then we used, they've got some little leaves. These guys right here coordinate with another item you can get for free. This is with a $100 order. Um, the little, whatever this is called, the little flower punch that's free with a $100 order during celebration. So if you put a $150 order in, you could get this one for free and this one for free for Celebration Plus, you would get $15 in free host benefits too. So free stuff, whatever you want, right? And then this is where that sentiment came from. I used it on my card. So actually, yeah, um, yep, so I used it. It says, I'm always amazed but never, never surprised by your thoughtfulness. And then the congratulations, so the capital Y-O-U there is kind of fun, right? So cute, kind of just a cute, cute stamp um, with, with the little flowers there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Probably my most favorite thing. These are the stitched so sweetly dies. Uh, and you're getting the punch, huh, Susie? That is awesome. So I'm going to pull this out because you can see a little bit better. So the stitched so sweetly dies. So you can see we've got some really fun labels in like one, two, three, we've got four different sizes, a teeny tiny, and then a little bit larger. And then these, are the rectangles so we used 
one of, is it that one? Nope, it's the next size. So we use the, is that right? No, I guess it was. It looked like that wasn't the right size. I know why. Yeah, that one is the right size right there because normally um, it cuts a little bit further. This one cuts right along that outside edge. Can you see that? And then does the stitching too. So we use the third largest die to cut that little baby out. And then I'll show you my trick for that one too. Um, actually, I since I had already pre-cut all of these things, I'll just show you, right? So this one, we don't even have to die cut with our die cutting machine. Whisper white cardstock with that third largest die and voila, we have created that. Now this thing right here, what I did, oh yeah, okay, I do have it. So with the largest rectangular shaped die, right? I just put this right on about like that and ran it through the big shot and ended up with this piece, right? So you don't need the whole big rectangle. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this to make it end up on, oops, on there, right? It'll make more sense in just a sec. Okay, so I think we just need to do some stamping of our little flowers and our thank you. Okay, so I've got, this is just Whisper White cardstock. Um, I'm gonna move all these over here. So we've got our Pretty Peacock ink. And I'm going to stamp my thank you right on here. Okay, so this is the little baby thank you. Tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. Isn't that so cute? The little thank you, right? So we are using, this is the one and one eighth inch um, scallop circle punch. Pop that one right there. All right, we're going to just scoot this stuff out of the way as we use it, and that might help me stay organized. Now, I actually want my... I think maybe I might go off the edge of things here. So we are gonna grab my little scrap piece of paper. Now we are going to use our little rectangle and I'm gonna open up my gorgeous grape ink. Also, I'm gonna lose that. I'm gonna scoot that over there. Okay, can you guys see? Let me make sure. I get doing what I'm doing and I'm not paying attention. I can see it and then I don't know if you guys can see it in the frame or not. Okay, so we are gonna start with, this is just the little stem in Pretty Peacock ink. And we're, this is gonna kinda help us line everything up by stamping these stems on here. So you can see I'm going off the edge just a little bit, okay? Next, we are gonna add some little leaves also in Pretty Peacock ink. So we're gonna do one there. We're gonna do one there. This is when I almost want my glasses. Hold on, I happen to have those handy right here these days, I pop those. Guys, I feel like, you know, I'm getting old, needing my glasses all the time. <sighs> all right, and one more right there, okay? So there are our little leaves. Then we are going to stamp separately just on, this is just a little one inch strip. I have like 10 million of these one inch strips of Whisper White cardstock because the inside of the card, you always, well, no, not that one, sorry. That, you always end up with half inch wide strips when you cut for the inside of those cards. But somehow I have a lot of these one inch size strips. Actually, you know what? I should be stamping that straight up and down. I bet I can get that one on the end. There, isn't that so cute? It's just like beautiful, perfect the way that guy stamps. Okay, so I think, actually we're not done because I wanted to show you that was the inside of the card. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. I love that sentiment. Okay, so we're going to use, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Ooh, and I will have all of the dimensions, item codes for everything that we're using here um, in the details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com uh, this afternoon. Okay, so watch for that. I'll have everything there so you guys know what we are using. Um, so that you can order these things too. Okay, so we're gonna use our Pretty Peacock ink. And okay, that is going. I was all of a sudden like, is that right side up? Although if I stamp it right in the middle, it'd be okay, because if it was upside down, I could just turn it, right? Okay, so I think we have all of our stamping. Uh, now we just need to do our punching, right? Okay, so got my little baby flowers there. Actually, I'm gonna turn it this way can hang on to it a little bit easier, being right-handed, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna line them up. Oops, wow, that was pretty impressive, huh? How many times do you do that? Okay, now I do have to flip it back this way. I'm gonna hold on to it here. 
because it is I will tell you it's best if you stamp it so the one you can see how you know make sure you stamp it like it's showing on the punch there too and then that's a little bit easier to slip your paper into your punch okay so we have those and I think we are ready to kind of put things together here so while I'm thinking about it let's just put this on the inside of the card and get it out of the way okay all right this is pretty peacock cardstock that measures five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter okay so then we're going to pop this piece on the inside of our card okay we got that now actually we're going to kind of set this card base aside because this was my little trick so this is a piece of this is gorgeous great part of the brights designer series paper pack with those fun honeycomb or chicken wire right on the back so this piece measures two inches by five and a half inches okay and this was my little trick to get to that little scallop edge across the top here so we are going to just kind of snip this actually i'm going to turn this way because i want to cut as straight as i can because at first i went to put these on like that and i it was kind of like that was sticking out a little bit so what i learned was instead of putting them this way like this and you kind of have that little edge sticking out flip flop them so put this one over here and then that straight edge lines right up and then this one right over here and then you're going to cover up that part in the middle right with that so you won't even see it so that's my little trick for the day here hold on one sec okay I needed a sip of water too all right so we're gonna flip actually we're gonna flip this over so along the top here we're just gonna add some adhesive and then I want this one did I do that right yeah okay good when I was doing it earlier I put adhesive on the bottom instead of on the top and that's not what we're looking for okay so there's that one there and then what if we do that one right about there okay uh that is bad angle hold on i gotta put it down a little bit lower i just want to see a little bit of that stitching there we go okay so isn't that cute so i'm going to press firmly on there and we can add this guy on the front of our card now okay so we are gonna put this run that right across there so yeah it looks kind of funny with that gap in the middle there right uh, but once so you can see I haven't pressed too firmly I thought okay that looks like it's a little bit crooked so if you don't press too firmly you know once you do this then it's hard to pull that off of there right but in the meantime if you need to reposition a little bit you can do that I just don't press too firmly now we are going to use this is just white baker's twine kind of a staple in our supplies right in our embellishment supplies and we're just going to tie a bow and all this stuff is going to get all wiggled all over the place <laughs> okay let's move you up into view right okay so we're just tying our bow around this little baby oops i lost something there hold on as it happens all right okay we've got our little bow there i like to kind of keep my finger on there that way it doesn't loosen up too much when i am kind of trying to play with the length there right okay scoot that out of the way so we are going to just carefully if you pull really hard you can kind of rip holes in the edge but if you just kind of go gently you can move that right along there without any problem at all right okay so there's our little bow on the side there right now we are going to put some little mini dimensionals behind the back of our flowers okay and then we can add those on sorry is it wiggling a little bit i thought it was pretty tight but i don't know why either that or it's just me maybe it's because i'm wearing my glasses i feel like everything's wiggling <laughs> i don't know okay so we're gonna just pop that one right on there aren't those so cute those sweet little i know way back at some point we had a little flower punch like this 
Uh, probably not exactly the same, right? But something similar, and I always remember loving it, so I'm glad we have something similar back again to play with. Okay, now we are gonna add more. We're gonna pop this little guy up on some dimensionals too. So we're gonna add some back there. And then this one I actually, this is my little pet peeve where I only wanna put it, that was on the bottom, right? Yep, and I'm gonna add some adhesive on the top here, and I'll show you why in a sec once we add that to our card, okay? All right, so we're gonna peel the backs of these dimensionals off, okay? And okay, I got one more to go. There we are. All right, so we can kind of cover that little space up. You won't even know that that was there, right? So now this one, I didn't want to put dimensionals on both sides because this is going to go down here. And I don't I don't like a dimensional up on the top because then it looks crooked, right? Because we're already putting it on top of something that has a dimensional. Uh-oh, now Susie needs the stamp set. <laughs> that's how it happens for all of us, isn't it, Susie? I tell you, that's for sure. Okay, so if that made sense, I put adhesive up here and then just the dimensional there so it's all the same height right there. Last step is to just add a couple of pearls. Where is this there? I was like, where's the opening? Okay. We are going to just put a couple. I always forget that my take your pick tool. So we're going to try. Sometimes I really think it's easier to just use your fingers because that's being really futzy for me, isn't it? There we go. Okay. So we're going to put one pearl right there. Let's try to use our fingers. None of it's going to work today. If I kind of dig my fingernail underneath there. <laughs> And there's no cost, right? Just keep your fingernails trimmed at a reasonable length. There we go. Okay. So just some little flowers or uh, little pearls on there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, you're right, Susie. So there is our first card that you will get for free from me if you uh, put your order in and use that host code, the 3HQ4GTQE. Okay. All right. Scooting stuff out of the way here. And I'm going to show you the other fun project that we are going to make today. Actually, let's get those guys there too, right? You know, got to tidy up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Good stuff. All right. I'm going to scoot that one out of the way too. Okay, so the next project I want to show you guys is one that we, and Nikki, if you are still watching, you are going to recognize this. This was a project that we made for our online bingo. I have to tell you guys, I was so excited and I totally, I wish I could say I planned it, but I did not. So our online bingo, I was actually able to give away a bunch of prizes from the new spring mini and celebration catalogs because I had gone to on stage. So I could order from the product purchase premiere or the PPP and the timing worked out perfectly that I could order and get it here in time to then use as prizes for online bingo. And then in addition, we got to play with new stuff on the make and takes too. So this was one of the cards that we made for online bingo and I've kind of been saving it because I wanted to show you guys um, how pretty the paper, the poppy paper is. I did use some current product too so this is that gold shimmer ribbon and then some of the gold whatever those things are called i'm going to pull those out in a sec the one thing i will tell you though um i did not use new stamp sets for those make and takes because i knew maybe not everybody um you know a lot of people aren't even demonstrators that played so they wouldn't be able to order um, new stamp sets so this one was from the parcels and petals stamp set so i wanted to use current stamp sets so that they could do their stamping right or any sentiment that would fit on on that little label there right but today we are going to use the new this is the timeless tropical stamp set and we're going to use this sentiment may your birthday be memorable right but check out these other the images are gorgeous right and they they kind of they well not kind of they totally coordinate with that tropical designer series paper and we've got other great sentiments that say our friendship is timeless rest and relax you deserve it Thank you and hello. So great sentiments, beautiful, I love. I, I probably can't show you guys, right? I'm trying to like get underneath here, but I my necklace, that's my necklace, my Stampin' Up! necklace that they gave us in Hawaii, I don't know how many years ago. I still wear it all the time and I know that's it, the hibiscus flower. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I think I've asked you guys that before, but that's what I call it, so, okay. 
All right, so let's, oops. Oh, okay, good. You know how sometimes when you drop the ribbon on the floor and it like flies and rolls away from you? Fortunately, that did not happen. That was my worry is that went tumbling down there. Okay, so we've got some stamps. We've got our ink. All right, I think we are ready to go. So let me tell you measurements here. This is starting with, this is a soft suede card base, right? Or a piece of cardstock that measures on the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? For our fold, nice crisp fold on our card. Hey, Roseanne, how are you? Okay, and then we have a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. Is that even in the view? It may not be, but I'm telling you guys too. So it measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, all right? Then we have a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock that measures two and a half by three and a half. And this is for the inside of our card that also measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then lastly is our Poppy Designer Series paper. Ooh, this was the one I was telling you guys about. I couldn't, I couldn't decide if that was better or that. I kind of ended up liking that better, but I think that would have been pretty on there too. Okay, so this piece of Designer Series paper measures, uh, let's make sure, yep, three and three quarter by three and three quarter, okay? All right, and then I just have a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock that we are gonna stamp our sentiment on. So I've got Mossy Meadow ink here and my stamp that says, may your birthday be memorable. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. I don't like that. It's funny, this ink pad was really, really dry. So I re-inked it, but I feel like, I'm trying not to press too hard because I don't want to get my ring around the rubber, but we're gonna try and see if that is better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, and then for the inside of our card, we've got the sentiment rest and relax i guess i need to put even more ink in there i thought i added quite a bit of ink but you know this dry weather now every time i open an ink pad it's not very juicy rest and relax you deserve it that's better now <laughs> might be even a little bit over inked there nikki you're back do you remember this card <laughs> this is the other one that i'm demonstrating today you might remember it from online bingo a few weeks ago okay so we actually are going to emboss this piece. You can maybe barely see it, right, with the subtle embossing folder, right? Can you kind of see that detail on there? And then we're going to die cut our sentiment. But instead, we've got, may your birthday be memorable, right? I'm going to die cut that one with the ornate frames. Okay, so let me grab my die cutting machine. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> what do we want to do? Actually, we're going to do our die cutting first. So these are the ornate frames. I think I have it. Yep, we're going to use this die. Hey, Diana in Kentucky. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. So these dies, I believe, are on the carryover list. I had that list somewhere, but it's buried. Pretty sure. I'm about positive the ornate frames dies are carrying over. If you don't have them, you really need to get them because look at all of the little label dies that are in there. You're going to be able to use these for so many projects. And where's my white? Here we go. So here's my white cardstock that I stamped. May your birthday be memorable. And my, oh guys, going to be futzy. What's that? My my magnetic platform. Okay, let's just hope it doesn't wing. You know how it does that sometime after you lay it down? Then the die like whoo kind of slips to the side or something, but I think we're good there, right? Okay. So we've got that one there, right? And then we need the other platform. I did bring it good. Okay. So we need our regular platform to do our embossing. Okay, and I've got my subtle embossing folder. <laughs> ah, Nikki is saying, yes, they came out with another stamp set to use on those ornate frames dies. I think I did see that. The details are a little foggy right now for me on what's in the new catalog. I have to tell you guys, you know, Christmas. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. 
Diana says, you're doing great. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, can't play with, wait to play with all the new goodies. I hear you. And learn the names of things so I can sound like I know what I'm doing <laughs> on the Facebook Live. That would be good too, right? <laughs> okay. All right, let's move that guy out of the way. Okay, so I think we are ready to put our card together. So again, let's put, oops, open that back up, right? We're gonna put this piece on the inside. Rest and relax, you deserve it. Doesn't everybody wanna get a card that says that, right? Okay, all right, then we're gonna put our Poppy Parade cardstock on the face of our card here. All right, and then we're gonna add the beautiful Poppy Designer Series paper. We are gonna put that one right about there. Okay, now we are gonna grab this Mossy Meadow piece that we embossed with that subtle embossing folder. I'm gonna grab, yeah, so you can see that was the one I didn't like. And once you put it on here, sometimes if you hold it up in the light, you can see it. Merry Christmas, Susie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what I was saying was sometimes if you hold it up in the light, you can see through it. But once you put it down on here, you cannot see that I stamped on the back of that. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to grab our gold shimmer ribbon that is still available. <laughs> yes. You, okay, yeah, you have your catalog. That's good. <laughs> I know. It's hard to remember the names of everything. But yeah, but I didn't want to, I don't always want to take the time to flip through um, while I'm doing this live because I, I would, it would be on here <laughs> even longer than I already am if I was flipping through the catalog trying to remember names of everything. Fortunately, you know, it's on the stamp set, so that's pretty easy to uh, give you those names, right? <laughs> okay, so we're just tying a little bow right there and we're going to kind of snip that off. Okay, now. We are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this guy right here. And then we're going to pop him on our card. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so hopefully everybody is um, maybe about ready for Christmas. I wouldn't say I'm quite ready, but I'm getting there, right? So hopefully everybody has a wonderful happy holiday merry christmas right with your friends and family next week it's kind of hard to believe it's already <laughs> it's next week already oh my goodness right it came up so quickly so these are the gold faceted gems i knew they were gold something or other so we are actually these i think i can get underneath here those little pearls are kind of have a mind of their own and actually that one kind of did right there too so we're going to put that one there and I'm looking, I'm like, did I get that? And then we're gonna put one more, maybe right about there. And there we go. So may your birthday be memorable with that beautiful gold shimmer ribbon that you can still order if you would like, right? And then the new timeless tropical stamp set along with that beautiful poppy designer series paper, right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed these projects today. There's, all right, here, it's a mess. Ooh. Crafter math has definitely happened today, right? Okay, so quick recap. Make sure if you're ready to order, use this host code, the 3HQ4GTQE. You will get this card and this card for free from me with your order of at least $30 when you use the host code. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the lovely lily pad stamp set. And if you bump your order up to $50, you automatically get a package of the designer elements as my thank you to you. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, like I said, hopefully everybody's about ready or will be ready, right, in the next couple of days for Christmas. I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas with friends and family. Um, I'm thinking of all of you guys. Hopefully, yeah, you just have a great holiday um, next week. And I will be back live next Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And then also, don't forget, if you're local to me, near me in Michigan, you are welcome to join us at the new uh, celebration and um, not occasions, that's so hard for me, the spring mini catalog kickoff event that's next Saturday on uh, December 
28th, anytime from 11 to 2. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy, happy, merry, merry Christmas. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.